Hey guys, this is the um, Super B tote style bag from Jujube. The print for this one is um, TikTok. It's a Hello Kitty print. Um, and I think it's absolutely adorable. I wasn't too sure about it in the pictures, but it is adorable. Perfect for my four-year-old. This is her um, uh, daily, like if we're going to be gone all day bag or um, what I would normally leave pre-packed in the car for um, just ex extra medical supplies so I don't have to carry a huge bag on me all the time. Um, I've been carrying a diaper bag for five years now, so I'm kind of trying to carry more of a purse style bag for running around and keep extra stuff in the car. Um, this bag has three pockets in the front. Um, the two on the sides go the full length of the bag. The one in the middle goes about halfway down the bag um, and it has a zipper closure. So on this side I keep a bottle of water um, which has a multiple of uses. It could be drank in by me or my five-year-old, or I could use it to flush her G-tube, or who knows? Water. Never have enough. In the middle pocket, I have some snacks for my five-year-old. Um, peanut butter and Pringles sticks. I also keep a bag of snacks in the car, so that's just, like, true emergency snacks. Um, on this side, I have an empty baby bottle. Um, when she was on tube feeds, I would keep this pre-filled with... Um, water and then I keep um, uh, I had a couple different ways of storing formula um, I would either use one of those you know formula dispensers that have the three sections or I would use um, like a snack tower that had spots for formula or I used um, zipsicles they're like um, reusable otter pop pouches and they fit powder formula in them wonderfully and took up very little space um, in here, I also keep a bottle of Pedialyte. I love the two ounce bottles from the hospital. Um, on the side, on this side, I keep a passy pod. Yes, I just moved the passy pod around. I don't have ones that match every bag. She's four, so the need for a pacifier is not as much as it was when she was younger, but she still uses it. Boo, can you go play for a few minutes? No. Please. Uh, but I do keep a pacifier in here. I like their passy pots. What, honey? It's beautiful. Can you go play with it? Uh, because all their bags are lined with um, an antimicrobial lining, so it's nice to keep the pacifier in there and know that it's clean and, and not getting gross. Um, on the back of the bag is a long pocket that has one snap, runs the, the length of the bag, and I keep two disposable chuck pads in there um, for changing diapers or who knows? Mostly diaper changes. On this side, I keep a roll of diaper trash bags and a thing of hand sanitizer. Mom, what is this? That's my batch. Can you just put it back? It, it used to be mine. Yeah, can you put it back? Um, the zipper runs the length of the bag, and as you can see, I could stuff some more things in here if need be coats or jackets or miscellaneous stuff. Um, Try not to over stuff mm -hmm. if I can avoid it. What, honey? Yes. I see. I need you to put my chapstick down and go out and look at it, please. Uh, this is what the bag looks like open. I use the Sugar Snap diaper filing system for my bags. Um, all the pouches are mesh on the front, so you can see what's in them. Mm -hmm. They're obviously not labeled mm -hmm. for medical supplies, but it does make it easier mm -hmm. for other caregivers to find. Chapstick. How about this be my chapstick? Thank you. Um, just makes it easier for everybody to find what's in the bag as opposed to um, like Be Quick that Jujube makes. They look like this. I love them. Um, they are nice little pouches. They have a zipper in the back. But when you have a whole bunch of different ones in the bag um, with different stuff in them, it can make it hard for, for other people to find what they're looking for. Um, and now that I am uh, venturing into single parenthood, the need for other people to find stuff in my bags is um, more often a reality than it used to be. So on top I keep um, this little bottle system. I can put a drop in liner in here. I keep a whole bunch in one of these pouches. Um, and I can actually hook this up to her G-port on her GJ tube and then use a safety pin to clip it to her pants and she can run around um, and drain. She usually is hooked up to a feral bag and has a little purse that she drains into, but if I forget the purse, um, we have a backup, so 
so she's not um, tethered to me. A puke bag. Um, she's actually getting pretty good about knowing when she's going to puke and making it into this. So I keep it nice and handy where I can grab it. Um, the bag has two mesh pockets in the front. Um, in this side, I keep an extra G-tube kit with a pack of lube tape to it. Um, in this side, I keep wipes. I keep um, Kleenex, Florex wipes for you know, if I have to prep her TP and away from home to clean the surface or um, restaurant tables or shopping carts, whatever. Um, wet ones, I try not to use baby wipes on their hands as much because I go through an insane amount of baby wipes that way so I try to use the wet ones for their intended purpose um, and then boogie wipes um, boogie wipes are actually really good for cleaning crusties off G-tube stomas um, they're saline wipes so they help break down the uh, I mean the stoma boogers really is what I call them so those are nice to keep around the bag also has a zip pocket right back here but I don't have anything in it. And then, so here's my filing system, and we'll just start with, I guess this one. It says diapers and wipes. I have three size six diapers and a package of wipes, some zinc oxide, and some nice stack cream. You could easily fit another three or four diapers in here. Um, I have it pretty, pretty not packed, um, but I do keep an extra case for a package of diapers in the car. Um, the next big one has spare clothes, pants and a shirt that would fit both of my kids. They're four and five and pretty close in size, so that helps. Um, a pair of hospital socks, a pair of underwear for my five-year-old, and a wet bag. Um, right here, and this has supplies for two sterile dressing changes for my daughter's Groviac. Um, one is a dressing change kit, and then I added in a bio patch and an IV 3000 because we she breaks out from Tegaderm. Um, and then I also have a completely pieced together one, so I have extra sterile gloves and floor prep and masks. And, um, there's plenty of room in here too. When she had a port, I also had two port needles, two sterile servings, and two yellow peppers in here with no problem. Will you guys go play lightsabers out in the living room, please? Thank you. Sorry. Um, so, and then let's see. On this front one is extra G-tube supplies. I have um, a syringe for venting. I have a bolus syringe. I have a saline flush. The lower locks actually um, fit really well in the um, fill the balloon port on the G-tube. So if I were to need to replace it, I wouldn't have to dig around for water. Um, I keep an extra feral bag and then um, two rolls of tape. And behind the feral bag is an extension for both her G port and her J port on her GJ tube. Um, this has um, line care stuff, more stuff that I would use on a daily basis over the dressing changes. So I've got saline flushes, um, I've got a ton of alcohol swabs, I've got some claves, I've got, well, let's see, um, some yellow heparin, some blue heparin. Um, a pair of hemostats for if we have a line break, some swab caps, um, just basic um, line care supplies. Um, this pouch has all her airway meds, well her kind of emergency airway meds. We've got Flovent in case I forget to give it to her before we leave the house in the morning um, or if we end up staying somewhere later than we planned and I need to give her her nighttime meds with Flovent. We've got a spacer, we've got Combivent, which is Atrovent and Albuterol, um, and then we also have Albuterol and Royal Coban. Um, and then this is her oral care bag. I've got a Z-Vibe with different tips, I've got a Chewy Tube, um, I've got some cherry flavored tongue depressors, um, some suckers. Suckers are one of the few things she can do orally. Um, some pacifier wipes. Oh, and some of the mint flavored oral swabs. And then I also have a pediatric manual blood pressure cuff in here. Um, we've had issues in the past of not being able to find a pediatric blood pressure cuff, um, a manual one to use. And uh, she's dropped her pressures quite a few times um, with line infections. 
so um, I just, after the first time that we had issues trying to locate a manual cuff, I just went ahead and bought one off Amazon for like 10 bucks, and I just keep it in her bag, and then if we need it, we have it, and if we don't ever need to use it, then I guess I'm out $10. So that is the Super B packed for for a diaper bag. Um, it's a pretty lightweight bag. It's nice and collapsible. It fits a lot of stuff. Um, I just I prefer bags with a little more structure and a little more internal organization, so I'm not having to use uh, pouches for everything. But it's definitely a great bag to have, um, and it fits everything really nicely without being too overstuffed or over full. Um, so that is the Jujubee Super Bee for medical supplies.